You know, um, it's interesting. I've been coming now for, I think this is uh, coming on my 17th year in strategic coach. And uh, <clears throat> I, I get a little bit um, shy once in a while, which is not my personality, to report on what's happened the previous quarter. But a lot of the fellow strategic coach members um, tell me, oh, Doug, um, you're the poster child of uh, strategic coach. And I go, why? Why do you say that? Well, because every time you come uh, back to coach, um, all the rest of us took a little idea or something and got this far with it. And you seem to have exploded with this power curve instead of this long learning curve. And, and they go, what's your secret? And I said, hello. <laughs> uh, back in Strategic Coach 101, uh, Dan says uh, that every quarter, okay, you gotta take time to not just get warm and fuzzy uh, inspired. Uh, you know, you've gotta get motivated to change, but then you have to implement it. So uh, every time, I think the secret is I prepare myself to get away. So many people, uh, they think, well, I don't have the time. No, you don't have the time not to invest. This, this makes my business, my life simpler. But only when I can get away and focus for one day, no matter how busy I am, I know that when I come away, I'm gonna f have clarity on my next quarter. So um, when I do that, I'm also accountable to other people. There's no way I would have gotten my first book done by the deadline if I didn't know that other people were cheering for me. So I'm in a room with like-minded people that are not you know, saying, oh, I thought you were gonna hit this goal. No, they're cheering for me. And so I'm accountable to other people. But then at the end, uh, instead of catching a flight or leaving Coach uh, an hour early to get back to all the busyness of life, I just stay here and I take the evening and I go through and I rewrite all my notes, I reorganize them, I fill out uh, an R factor in DOS. Okay, if I'm sitting here 90 days from now, looking back over this quarter, what has to have happened for me to feel happy with the progress I made? I mean, how many times have we learned that and we do that, but do we do it for ourselves? And then I write down what has to happen and I eliminate the dangers I've identified that would stand in the way. I seize the three greatest opportunities and then I uh, harness the best strengths or resources that Dan just gave us. And I come back and I'm called the poster child for just doing what he taught us to do every time we learn a true principle. So that's the secret.